Apple's Mac Mini with the M4 Pro is quite a unit, and we saw this in my last video with the benchmark scores it registered. But in this one, I wanted the tests to be tailored more towards the typical workflow of a Mac Mini user. And to start, I wanted to have a look at Blender. As I'm not too much of a user of Blender, I thought the best way possible would be to use a ready-made benchmark tool, and I ran this thing twice, once using the M4 Pro CPU, where the Mac Mini registered a score of 325, and you get that by combining all of these scores together. Compared to previous years, this is a steady improvement, and I think it's pretty good. The other run was using the M4 Pro GPU, which clocked in at around 2100, again combining all of these scores together, and and this is considerably faster than the M4, and for someone who needs that GPU power, the improvement really shows and really shows over the generations from M1 to M2 to M3 and now the M4 Pro. Next up is a coding test, where we're going to be taking Xcode benchmark, I'll be linking that down below. The whole process is very standardized and it was actually made for Max Tech, who is another famous YouTuber who covers Apple products, but this really helps because it helps you test your devices as well as any new device that comes up and how much of an improvement that was from the previous. And I can't comment much on how the coding process works because I have not so much experience in that field, but it clocks around 111 seconds. This is slightly slower than what's been recorded on the website, but again, this test that I've done is more of a real world test so there are things open and running in the background and I'm sure the ones that are registered on the website were posted under ideal conditions but 111 seconds it's not too shabby at all. Now moving to something a bit more in line with my forte this is the video test. Of all the videos I make, this is the most demanding one, which is the camera comparison. This clocks in around 5 to 6 gigabytes, and it's interesting to see how long this takes to render. In fact, what I've also done is rendered this same video on my M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch to give you a side by side comparison. The Mac Mini was able to complete this in 8 minutes and 22 seconds, while the MacBook Pro took 6 minutes and 3 seconds, so more than 2 minutes faster, although the MacBook also got warmer than the Mac. Mini. And to be honest, if you think about it, the Mac Mini's price versus the MacBook Pro, it's about a 3x difference. So for the price difference and how much more affordable the Mac Mini M4 Pro is compared to what the M1 Max was at the time, this improvement is quite remarkable. Last but not least, I'll take the same video now and encode it down to 2.5K resolution. While I thought this would be another win for the MacBook, I was actually proven wrong. The average speed at which the encode was done on the Mac Mini was almost double than that of the MacBook, taking 3 minutes and 20 to complete on the Mac Mini compared to 5 minutes and 30 on the MacBook Pro. So that's a look at some real world tests on the Mac mini with M4 Pro. I'm working on a gaming test as well. So if you want to find out how that works out to be, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see tested specifically on the Mac mini M4 Pro. Thanks for watching. This was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.